Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Millie and today we are doing a full wear test of this product here. This is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Perfector 4-in-1 Whipped Matte Makeup. So this has lots of claims. I have dry skin. I will admit I didn't realise that this was a matte makeup. I will insert a picture here of the products that I thought that this was when I ordered it online. I thought that this was a glowy like dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury flawless Hollywood filter or whatever it is. I am going to be applying this today and then hopefully doing check-ins throughout the day so that you can see how it wears on dry skin. So let's just get into it. So as always, this is what we are starting with. So the claims on the back of the bottle. This says that it is a primer, a powder, a concealer, and a BB cream. It says it blurs pores, mattifies, conceals blemishes, evens skin tone with a light coverage. And it says to apply it with your fingers all over your face. Now I don't love applying base products with my hands. I find it, I don't know, like texturally, I don't enjoy it, but it's telling me to, so I will. I just have a moisturiser on my face. Now, because this says that it's a mattifying product, I did use a very thick night cream, actually. This is just the Nivea Regenerating Night Cream. I use this every single night, but I just thought because that says that it's mattifying, I wanted something really heavy and hydrating underneath so I've gone in with a layer of this about half an hour ago it's really sunk in but my skin still feels really nice and hydrated so I'm going to go in with this the texture is just bizarre I mean I will put in a cutaway so that you can properly see what it's like but it is so airy and moussey it's a really really unique texture I I'm not the biggest fan. It seems to be smoothing over my skin quite nicely. I do have a few breakouts at the minute actually, so we'll see how well they get covered. It's quite a good test for it today. I don't normally have many breakouts, but I have two down here at the minute, so we'll see how that goes. And I don't mind it being a light coverage. I like a light coverage just for an everyday look anyway i prefer how a light coverage feels on the skin so that's not a negative point so that is one layer all over the skin i feel like on the camera that's showing up as if it's more coverage than what i'm looking at in my mirror that's just below you across my cheeks i feel like i can still see quite a lot of redness i feel like i can also see all of that texture that's on that spot at the minute so close up that doesn't actually look as though it's done anything at all it still looks very natural but i can still see all my freckles i can still see all of my pores in this area i can see all of the dryness down the center of my nose is exaggerated i'm wondering if i could go in with a second layer because it does just seem to be blending out to nothing, which isn't the point. <laughs> I'm here for a light coverage, but I do need something across the center of my face, especially across like my cheeks and my nose. Let me just zoom you in because this is looking quite textured, like I'm blending with my hands and it's just moving around rather than sinking in and it's like leaving lines i hope you can see like the texture i think you can like down my nose and like i don't have a lot of texture on my nose so that's weird but it's like not covered anything and like i say i am i'm a fan of a light coverage but this is just nothing at all but i will leave it at that I will just go and put on the rest of my base makeup. I was hoping to get away with not using a concealer, but I I think I'm going to have to just put a little bit of something under my eyes. I was hoping there was going to be enough coverage in this that I wouldn't need 
a concealer under my eyes but I think I'm gonna need something so I'll be back in just a moment when I've got the rest of my face on okay so that is the full face done just for reference i used the physician's formula butter bronzer i used this kiko blush in the shade fairy pink yeah fairy pink um the eye shadow is a barry m metallic cream eye shadow in the shade dazed one of my all-time favorite products love that the brows are my Isla brow pencil and the Wow Brow from e.l.f. And the lip gloss is the Revolution Pro Hydra Gloss in the shade Punch. So that's everything that I have on. Oh, and a mascara that's just a rubbish one that I'm trying to use up. This is the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash. But it's not very good, so I wouldn't recommend that. So that's everything that I've got on, obviously, as well as the Perfector. So my final thoughts after first applying this. The time is 2.50, so it's a little bit later than I was hoping to do this first like application, but we're gonna go with it. So my first thoughts are, it's a very light coverage. It does, now that I've got the rest of the products on over the top, it does look blurred in person, it looks blurred it looks smoothed it looks a little bit perfected but like you can still see i obviously haven't put any concealer on like my spots or anything so you can still see that you can still see the redness like here i've put blush further back where i always apply my blush but here you can still see like my natural redness that i don't like you can still see all of my freckles the texture is toned down a little bit but then I feel like on the dry areas of my face like my nose and like across my cheeks a little bit because that is a mattifying product it has accentuated that texture a little bit so we'll see how it wears once my like oils start coming through a little bit I do tend to prefer like matte products after an hour or two so I will try and check in with you in a few hours to see how this is looking but for now it's fine it's just it is a very 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 light coverage and as someone who likes a light coverage it's just not really enough for me so the time is now six o'clock just about uh, so I've had this on for three hours, but I just wanted to do this check-in before the sun completely went down. So I do actually think that this is looking better now than it did when I first applied it. The texture on my nose certainly seems to have like dialed down a little bit. I've purposefully been like not trying to touch my face. I've also changed my shirt, um, but it looks it's still a very light coverage it's still not covering the spots that i have down here it's still not covering the redness it's not broken up my oils have started to come out so i might be looking a little bit more dewy and radiant now but it's still sort of looking exactly the same as it did obviously my lip gloss has worn off <laughs> but the base has stayed pretty much the same so go through the claims primer powder concealer and bb cream i wouldn't necessarily agree with that i did have to apply concealer i didn't have to powder it i didn't prime i would say that this is just a very basic bb cream it's not doing anything that any other sort of tinted moisturizer bb cream product hasn't done before for example the nivea daily essentials 24 hour moisture and soft tint this also has the benefit of it being an spf this is nicer than this one and this i just looked it up as i was like coming upstairs to it to film this this was £14, it was 13 99 and I'm sure this was like £5. I can't even remember how much this was. But I would say out of the two, for someone with dry skin, I would go for the Nivea one because it's got the benefit of it being a moisturiser as well. 
So if there are any other products like this that you want to see me test, then please leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've tried this and if you have a different skin type to me, if you are more normal or oily skin, and let me know what you think because obviously it must work for some people. It just hasn't necessarily worked for me and what I like. But if you have a different skin type, then let me know in the comment section down below what you think because it might work for other people and then my opinion is completely irrelevant. <laughs> so until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye!